line up the shot a little better. Hmm. I kind of like the look, but the light up this side of my face a little better. I got just the thing. Hold on for a second. All right, I think that's a little better. Okay, let's get into it. What's up, guys? This is DJ coming back at you once again. And today, I want to talk to you about an issue that I just ran into, actually, which is what led to me making this video. But I want to show you how to fix the issue with your Final Cut Pro slowing down and you getting this. It's horrible. Spinning wheel of death. It's something that I ran into, and I thought that I'd talk about the issues that may be causing it, so let's get into it. Okay, what's going on? My name is DJ. I'm a content creator, YouTuber, videographer, sometimes photographer, and all around tech guy. The one issue that I wanted to talk about in the video was an issue that people were having with Final Cut. This is something that I read about before, but I noticed I bought a, a MacBook Pro, a newer one, like a, I think it was a 2021, 2022, I believe. I think it was 2022. I bought it. It was working great when I first got it. And then after about six to eight months, after a few updates from Final Cut, it started to slow down. I started noticing issues of uh, getting the circle of death. Every time I would put something on to the timeline, it would take forever to buffer. I would have to hold it there for a long time to get it to stick onto the timeline. And I just thought, okay, this must be something going on. And then I kind of was messing around with other applications and then kind of doing stuff. And I only experienced issues with Final Cut. And obviously if I'm on a MacBook and this thing is pretty much optimized to run Final Cut Pro, I would think I wouldn't have these issues. So I started looking it up, I did some research, and then I saw that there was a couple of things that may cause this. The first thing that may be causing this issue for you is you run out of space on your on your Mac. If you have too little space, it will make your Final Cut and other applications run slowly. The thing that I would tell you to do is, I made a video about this before, but kind of clearing all your optimized media and deleting those unused files from previous things that you've done as far as other edits and stuff like that. Clear that out. That may help you out a little bit if your space is kind of taking up a lot. Another issue that people have talked about is having Google Chrome on your MacBook. If you use that as your primary browsing system, a lot of times that could cause problems as well. And the final thing and the most apparent thing to me that I didn't know was the thing that was the issue for me is just completely deleting Final Cut and then reinstalling. And I know people are gonna say, well, no, I don't wanna delete Final Cut because if I delete it, then I'm gonna have to worry about reinstalling, kind of doing all that stuff. No, nah, you don't have to worry about that at all. When you delete Final Cut, it basically does this thing where you're just deleting the application. You're not deleting any of your save progress. So when you delete it and reinstall it again, the only thing that you would have to do after you reinstall it, which was my experience was on one of my systems, I had to go back and then put back on the compression settings that I had and put them back into my quick access point for my ports. And on both systems, I had to make it so that it wouldn't do the automatic buffer on rendering files as I'm editing. I turn that off all the time because I don't want anything interrupting me while I'm editing or turn it down to, I guess, five to eight seconds. That way it's not continuously trying to render out your project while you edit. And then also turning off the options so it doesn't save duplicates of your files, which is another thing that will kind of can ingest your computer as well. So the one thing, the three things that I would talk about that you should do is delete optimized media and then also look at the uh, save space that you have as far as all of those old files that you have that are kind of sitting on your hard drive that may be slowing you down. And then if you're having issues, probably delete and reinstall Google Chrome. That wasn't my experience, but the biggest thing is probably deleting Final Cut Pro and then reinstalling it. It's a very small download, I think it's like four and a half gigabytes. You put that back on there, you'll be good. You won't have to worry about any issues anymore. And 
you'll be editing it quickly again. I did that on both my systems. I haven't had any issues. I did it today actually and I've been pretty good. All right guys, with that being said, I'm gonna get out of here, sweat it a little bit. These lights are doing what they need to do, lighting me up, but I'm sweating. So if you guys enjoy this content, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.